to do with, with resources, natural resources. Oh, absolutely. Well, yeah, the caliphate there, is this dream that they're feeding to the fundamentalist uh, Muslims. And, uh, and yet the dream that the people who are pulling all these strings have is uh, a hegemony of uh, the oil in the area. Yeah, yeah but what's going to happen when the Islamists realize that they've been played? Yes. These are Islamists that have anti-aircraft missiles, and they, yes. are, they don't need to bring them to New York. They're passenger aircraft that take off all the time, mm -hmm. American passenger aircraft in North Africa and, and, and elsewhere. And don't forget, actually, that there are a lot of foreign jihadists, as in Americans, as in Australians, hundreds from Europe as well, that are fighting now with the rebels that we're helping. So they have passports. What happens if we didn't screen all of them and some of them come back in, into the United States? So that's why this is a dangerous, dangerous game. Also for Israel, um, originally Israel kind of supported the insurgency in Syria, and now they realize, uh, oops, it's, uh, it, it's now a major threat. The jihadists, mm -hmm. the rebels, to Israel's borders from Jordan, Syria, and beyond. And we, the United States, I think are going to ultimately learn our lesson. Um, I, I don't think we'll ever learn our lesson, but I think that, that to, to quote uh, Jeremiah Wright, our chickens are going to come home to roost this time. And I think it could work 9-11. Yeah, it's a very, very dangerous game. It's a game they've been playing a long time. We've had nothing but continuous war since the end of World War II with these kind of games, and yet we see it escalating both in scope and in depth. Uh, it seems like they can always go in, just like McCain can talk to these guys and uh, say, you know, well, they were good, and then somehow they turn bad like Manuel Noriega. They, they get these criminals, these drug dealers, these terrorists, and then they say, well, they, they turned on us, so now we've got to take them out. There's always an excuse to keep everything off balance, to keep us in a state of, of continuous chaos while they move around to gain control of areas, to gain control of resources. Well, thank you so much for talking to us, uh, Aaron Klein, and that's uh, AaronKlein.com? Yeah, KleinOnline.com. I'll just Klein quickly add, because you mentioned uh, McCain, that uh, I think ultimately it's going to be very interesting to see what happens with the GOP probe of Benghazi, because this was the Iran-Contra, this the funding of the rebels in Benghazi and beyond, the Iran-Contra of the Obama administration. But I don't believe for a minute that this entire thing happened, the coordination of arms and training and funding, without some members of, of the Senate, who knows, McCain, uh, being briefed about it, uh, Senate Intelligence Committees. So I think that some Republicans are just as scared of the truth about Benghazi as Democrats. Yes, yes, absolutely. So Obama's got his uh, Iran-Contra as well as his Watergate, as well as just about a clone of every other scandal we've ever had. Thank you so much for joining us from Jerusalem, from Tel Aviv, right? Yeah, Tel Aviv. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. And again, that's KleinOnline.com. He also has Aaron Klein Investigative Radio on the Salem Radio Network, and he's a regular contributor to WND.com. Of course, their interest is constant chaos, constant instability. Whether you're talking about states and wars because they make money off of that, or even in economic markets. Well, that's it for tonight's news. Please join us tomorrow at 7 Central, 8 p.m. Eastern. How you doing? Hey, uh, our, I just want to make you aware of the fact that uh, the organization you work for, the Border Patrol, yes. is funding illegals coming into our country completely illegally. Are you aware of that? I am aware of that. We got to talk to somebody else. We've been down in South Texas, and we've been doing a report on you guys for the past four days. <clears throat> and I have footage here of the, the illegals coming in but basically we found out yesterday that Border Patrol, and it's not you guys, you guys are just doing your job, but the people that manage you guys, Homeland Security, has been paying for illegal citizens to come into, this, into the U.S. and paying for them to be spread out into the U.S. Uh, people that are committed crimes, um, illegal citizens. So we got chased around by Border Patrol because we're American journalists. Meanwhile, we're filming illegal citizens being paid for with my tax dollars and your tax dollars to come into our country and wreak havoc. So uh, I just want to make you guys aware of that.
as a citizen of the United States, that that's happening. We're aware of you, and uh, we're you know the American people won't stand for it. So as you stated, yeah, you know, we're doing our job. You guys, we're you guys, our sure, sure, we're, we're sure. not going to be able to change sure. any policy sure. or anything sure. at the national level. But it's putting your organization and Homeland Security in the light of an invading army and within our within our borders as if you guys are the invaders so i just wanted you guys to be aware of that you may be aware of that already you guys have a great day Celebrate the spirit of freedom and liberty upon which our nation was founded at InfoWarsShop.com. Molon Lave is ancient Greek for come and take it. This popular design combines both classic Greek Spartan imagery with modern M16 assault rifles. Now available in women's tees and proudly made in the USA. And now you can protect yourself from corrupt cops with the InfoWars dash cam. It's your car's black box that records all that the driver sees and hears. And introducing the Blocket Pocket. It renders your phone undetectable while protecting your private data and your health. Or take back your privacy and protect your personal information by getting your very own detractor cell phone pouch. So get incredibly high quality freedom-based products and help fund the revolution at InfoWarsShop.com. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. Members can share their passcodes with up to 11 other people, and your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.